Hi, so today I would like to share with you my journey with The Outsiders and kind of just talk about how I became an editor. Not professionally or anything, but I mean, editing is just a really big part of my life and I enjoy it. So we're going to take it all the way back to 2014 when I was 13 years old. My mum's friend, funny enough, she's actually my hairdresser. So my mum takes me to her house and she gets me all settled in. And she says to me, would you like to watch the Karate Kid? Now, bear in mind, I had only ever seen the 2010 version. Um, you know, the one with Jackie Chan and uh, Jaden Smith. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? Atrocious behavior on my behalf because that movie is like just such a knockoff, but that's a conversation for another day. She pops the Karate Kid on, the original, and the minute I see Ralph on screen, I fall in love with him. I just like immediately go, who is that, you know? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. I search him up on Wikipedia. In England, we don't actually read The Outsiders in school. I did Lord of the Flies. I had never heard of The Outsiders War, had no idea what it was about. Didn't even know it was a book. I've seen the movie on his Wikipedia and I thought, oh, that's cool. And when I've like researched into it more, I saw it was a book. So I was like, oh, I end up watching The Outsiders, right? And I'm pretty sure I watched it on some dodgy pirate ass illegal website, as we all do. And the first time I watched it, honestly, it hit me hard. Like. I really relate to the Curtis brothers because if you follow me on Instagram already, you may already know that my dad died when I was 11. So I just really relate to them on that level. Although I was like sobbing by the end of it, I did really enjoy it. But I think because I was so young, I didn't really appreciate the movie for what it is. Like younger me really liked this movie and i thought that the cast were really hot which they are but yeah i just didn't see it the way that i see the movie now shortly after i watched the outsiders i ordered the book which i actually have right here again it's going to be backwards um but yeah this is my outsiders book you can see i've got my little card uh bookmark um and i'm gonna be very honest i prefer the book i love the movie don't get me wrong but i feel like i get more it's more immersive for me anyway reading the book like it just hits different and there's just certain things that are in the book that are not necessarily in the movie which i know it's different because a movie you can only have it for like a certain amount of time like it's just different you know there's certain things that yeah you have to cut out but yeah i just prefer the book like i just when i read the book i really get transported into the world like i do when i watch the movie but just not as much it wasn't really active in my teen years like I, yeah i saw it when i was 13 I maybe watched it a few times after that, but it wasn't like a consistent thing. Also, I was in another fandom. I was in the MagCon fandom, which I don't know if any of you will remember, but MagCon were basically a bunch of Viners, young teenage boys who went on tour with each other. And I was like obsessed with them. I was a Cameron girl. <laughs> and funny enough, that was the first time I ever made a fan page. It was for them that I co-owned with another girl. They broke up and I made another fan page for Tom Holland because I've always really loved him. And since I didn't have anything else to do with my time, you know, I kind of just dedicated it to him. But eventually just life got busy and I ended up deleting that fan page too. We're going to time skip to 2020 now. A rough year, a rough year for all of us because obviously the pandemic hit. Personally, like my nan she died literally the month before so my depression and my anxiety just hit me like a ton of bricks like i really withdrew myself from my family like i was basically sleeping all day and staying up all night it was just a very unhealthy time for me on march 25th 2020 
think I clipped my finger out. Wow. Um, I rewatched The Outsiders. And I swear to God, it was just like a light bulb just went off in my head. And this time, I really saw the movie in a different light. Like, I just, I really felt a deeper connection to this movie. I was 18. So, you know, I had grown up a lot. I've been through more things. So I did. From there, I really started to appreciate and love the movie for what it is. On the 31st of March, I made my fan account, The Outsiders Kid. When I was thinking of a username, I just knew I kind of wanted it to be a mix of my favourite movies. So my username is a mix of The Outsiders and The Karate Kid. When I first started my account, I basically just posted a bunch of memes, which are actually still on my account if you scroll down. But I really just wanted to try something else. So I downloaded CapCut and I basically watched a bunch of tutorials. And then from there, you know, when I think about my first edits, I want to cry. I want to scream into my pillow and I want to cry because they were bad. Like, they weren't good. Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Now that I've been editing for almost three years, like, I look back and I'm just like, you guys were lying to me. At the beginning, my account was strictly The Outsiders. Like, that was the only kind of content that I posted. But eventually, I just knew I wanted more. Like... I love The Outsiders with my whole heart and it will always mean so much to me. As an editor, I feel like there's only so much that you can edit with that movie. And growing up, I've always loved like movies and TV series. I loved it so much that I studied it in school. If I didn't go multi, like I was not going to last long because I was pretty much thinking about deleting my account because I just wasn't happy with it. And then I asked my followers at the time, like, would you guys mind if I started posting other content? And they didn't. And I was also thinking about changing my username because I was like, well, if I'm not going to be posting only The Outsiders anymore, like, why am I going to be The Outsiders Kid? But they said to keep it. And I'm glad they did because it's just me. Like, even my family, they... <laughs> My mom follows my account and I first for guys older than my dad, but it is what it is. I'm not going to change. <laughs> um, not just my mom, my sister as well, my cousin, my family, okay? My family follow my account. So yeah, I just started posting other content and now I just post whatever I want, really, okay? I just love movies in general. Like, my favourite decade is the 80s. There's so many movies that I love and that I want to edit. So I do. Oh, I actually forgot to mention that I forced my sister to come and watch The Outsiders of me um, when it was released in 4K in cinema. As soon as I heard that it was being like released again, I booked the tickets immediately. And I got us luxury. I booked us a sofa seat because why not? And there was only actually a few people in the cinema. I was the youngest one there. Yeah, everyone else was older than me. Like, there was a few, I want to say people in their 40s, maybe. I don't know their ages, but they were just all older than me. And it wasn't packed or anything. It was pretty much empty, but I'll do it again <laughs> any day, gladly. I want to talk about my tattoo because I have Stay Gold on my arm, which I don't know, you won't be able to see it properly because the camera's backwards, but I'll post a picture. So... On the 28th of May this year, I forced my sister to come with me to get this tattoo. Okay, cool. So originally, I was thinking about getting uh, Nothing Gold Can Stay by Robert Frost, you know, the poem from the movie. I was thinking about maybe getting that on my thigh, but then I was just kind of like, mm, I don't know. And in the end, I just settled on Stay Gold. So yeah, me and my sister get to the tattoo place. I have to fill out the form, which is just mandatory, like every time you go to this tattoo place or any tattoo place, we get seen pretty quickly. But when my tattoo artist, who's extremely talented, by the way, I've seen his other work, just chef's kiss. He's drawing it up, right, on the screen and something catches my eye and I look 
And on the screen, it says, stay golden. Stay golden. I had a heart attack. I literally was... I, I just wanted to cry. I was like, what, what is this? So I told him, I was like, no, 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 no. You've got that wrong. It, it has to say, stay gold. It's not stay golden. And he apologizes and he quickly fixes it. And it's funny because my sister, she actually says to me, it's not a big deal. And I'm like, no, it is a big deal. Do you know how badly it irks me when people say stay golden? It's like, have you seen the movie? Have you seen them? Have you seen the goddamn movie? He clearly says stay got where? Where does he say stay golden? Anyway, <laughs> before I... Shut the hell up! <laughs> Shut up! No, no, Shut no. up! So yeah, I get the tattoo done. Oh, a quick tip as well. If you're ever going to get a tattoo, please take a lollipop with you. I promise you, it takes your mind off it. Like, I've got four tattoos now. Yeah, four. So... I know what it's like to get a tattoo, but I mean, it's gonna hurt anyway. It's needle to skin. So yeah, that's just some quick advice. If you're gonna get a tattoo, take a lollipop. <laughs> I get the tattoo done. Um, I actually did a vlog, I think that's how you say it, which you can find on my channel. You can find it on my Instagram, my TikTok and my YouTube. I mean, I just love my tattoo. I love when people ask me about it. Whenever I meet somebody and we get talking about tattoos, I ask them, do you know where this is from? Some of them say yes, some of them say no. I really can't think of what else to say, and that's probably because I've already said everything, but I would really like to start putting out more movie content. So yeah, we'll just see how that goes. If you wanna follow me on any of my other social media, I I think I said this already, but I have Instagram, TikTok. Oh, I have Wattpad as well. How could I forget? Uh, my Wattpad is Placidity. Please don't even ask me when I'm going to update, okay? I am trying my best, right? I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. I've only been doing this for two fucking days. Like, shit. Give me a fucking break. But again, that's a conversation for another day. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you guys remember to stay gold.